Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice exponential equation. Now we've done similar problems before. I'm going to try to share the links down below and also here. And I also want to talk about in, in addition to the solution with two approaches, I also want to share with you the general form of these kinds of equations so you can generate more problems of this type if you're interested. This is something that I've done when I was uh, on a plane. You know, I was kind of bored, but I had access to a notebook and a pen. So what else can you do, right? When you have uh, paper and pencil. Anyways, so we have this problem and I want to go ahead and take this power down, right? Okay, to bring that down, I do need to log both sides, right? And in this case, a natural log works well. So let's go ahead and ln both sides. Hopefully you know what I'm about to do. I'm going to bring down the powers and that's going to allow me to use, hopefully, Lambert's W function. The first approach, this is, called, this is the first method. The first method may be incomplete, uh, but I will definitely completely show you the second method, okay? Now, as soon as I log both sides, I'm able to bring this down. So this becomes 2x to the 10th power times ln x and then the 3 times ln 15. Obviously, 3 times ln 15 is a constant, so if you want, you can call that k and later on replace it with whatever it is. But the left-hand side should look like something that looks like t times e to the power t. Why? And let's say this is equal to a constant. I want to be able to use Lambert's w function. And I'm also going to show you the results from Wolfram Alpha when I plug this in these are the results that I got, and I'll share that with you on the next screen. But first, let me tell you, we got to do a little bit of work, and we'll continue uh, from where we left off, uh, to put this in a nicer form. So this is the form that I want to get to, and then from there we can use Lambert's W function. But let's go ahead and take a look at what Wolfram Alpha gives us first. And here's what I got, and the results are pretty interesting, don't you think? <laughs> Quite complicated. Yes, and... I'm just thinking 3,375 must be 15 cubed, right? Don't you think? That comes up a lot. Anyways, this is, these are the results, and obviously there is more to it. I just cut, cut it off somewhere to fit the screen. Uh, and let's just continue with our work. So we have 2x to the 10th ln x. 2x to the 10th times ln x equals 3 times ln 15. Remember, 3 ln 15 is a constant, so you can call that k if you want. But what do you do on the left-hand side? First of all, you do need something like t times e to the power t. And you don't have that because you have an ln x and you have a power of x. So what can you do about it? Well, you can definitely do this. ln x can be written as, or you can use substitution. For example, I can call this t, and then when I do, this is going to be uh, ln x equals t implies x equals e to the t. So now this is going to be 2 e to the t to the 10, which is e to the 10t, multiplied by t equals 3 ln 15. So I didn't get this, but I got close. I have 10t in the exponent, but I have a t here. No worries. You can multiply both sides by 5, and that'll do the trick. Isn't that awesome? Like you do a little bit of something in math, and then you can get what you want. Not all the time, of course right okay great but at least in this case this works so i'm going to multiply both sides by five and that's going to give me the following 10t multiplied by e to the power 10t equals 15 ln 15. and that's kind of nice because 15 and 15 are the same so that kind of gives you an idea doesn't it okay anyways um from here what can we do we're going to lambert both sides with w but uh, on the right-hand side, we don't have something like a t times e to the t or c times e to the c. Because instead of a constant, if I had this and if I Lambert this or w this, then I should be getting c. That's the definition of Lambert's w function. In other words, it's the inverse of x e to the x. So when you plug in x e to the x into Lambert's w function, you get x. Make sense? Okay, great. And when you invert it, you basically get x e to the x, so that they're inverses of each other. Anyways, so 
Let's go ahead and put the right hand side in that form as well. So for that purpose, we can call the C. If ln 15 is C, then 15 is gonna be e to the C. I know 15 is a constant, C is a constant, but to be able to write it in that form will be nice. So this becomes C e to the C. This becomes 10 T e to the 10 T. And now we're gonna W both sides. Let's go ahead and do it. W this, W that and w of x e to the x or c e to the c is c whatever the argument is in this case 10 t is the argument so this becomes 10 t and this becomes c so t is c divided by 10 but what is c what is t let's go ahead and find out well c is ln5 i mean 15 so it becomes this but what is t let's go back and back substitute t is ln x right so let's go ahead and replace t with ln x ln x is equal to ln 15 over 10. And then you can go ahead and do e to the power of both sides because as you know, x equals e to the ln x and that is equal to e to the power ln 15 over 10. And you can write this as ln 15, e to the power ln 15 to the power 1 tenth. And this becomes 15 and this becomes 15 to the power 1 tenth. I said that it, that method is gonna be incomplete, but I decided to complete it because it turns out to be a nice expression. Anyways, second method. So second method is more direct, obviously, because for this problem, you don't have to use Lambert's W. I mean, you can, and obviously for most problems, it's gonna be needed because not all problems are nice like this, but this is a nice one. Uh, so I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna raise both sides to the fifth power. It's kind of like a more direct and compare this to the other method where we multiply bo by both sides by five to get what we want. So that kind of fits the pattern. And now I get X to the power 10, X to the 10, equals 15 to the power 15. Now look at the left-hand side. Can't we write this as x to the 10th to the power x to the 10th because the exponents here are being multiplied. And now this gives us what we want. We have something like base to the base equals 15 to the 15. So from one to one correspondence, you can basically say that, hey, x to the power 10 is supposed to be 15. So from here, x becomes 15 to the power 1 tenth or the 10th root of 15. I'm basically talking about this in the real sense, not just in the complex sense, but you can also think about it this way. Would a negative number work? Think about it, right? I mean, there is another 10th root of 15, which is negative, but would that work? Let's think about it. If we have x to the power 2x to the 10th, when you raise a negative number to the 10th power, you get the same answer. And when you have a negative number at the base, you square it, so that should work, right? So there should be two answers, 10th root of 15 and negative 10th root of 15. Now let me quickly talk about the general form because I promised to do that at the end. So the general form for these kinds of equations is x to the power ax to the power na, and that is equal to nk to the power k. Here, a, n, and k are integers. They don't have to be, I guess, but I choose them to be integers. And by playing with this, you come up with different kinds of equations. For example, this is also another thing that I made while when, when I was bored. I made a table of a and k values and then I came up with, uh, I just kind of uh, wrote down what type of equation uh, I should be getting from here. For example, let me show, show you a couple values. If n is, a is equal to two, n is equal to three, and k is equal to five, you get x to the power, two x to the sixth power equals 15 to the power 5, when x is equal to, for example, 2, n is 4, I mean a is 2, n is 4, and k is 5, you get x to the power 2x to the 8th equals 20 to the 5th power. And you can gen definitely generate thousands of values with this. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.